All right, the next terminal that we're going to look at on the IAQ is the W terminal. And basically, you can see that W has a wire running from the IAQ to the thermostat. So if you remember in the beginning of the video, I showed you that there was a brown wire that we hooked up to the thermostat. Uh, the other end of that brown wire comes down and ties to that white terminal. I have set up my humidifier so that it will only run when my furnace is running. And all that does is it loops up here and it comes over to the brown wire that's coming down out of the thermostat. And right there you can see the blue and the brown wire nutting together. Just like that. The last wire that I had to hook up was G. And you can see G runs from the IAQ. It ties into the thermostat green and it also ties into the furnace's green. So prior to this assignment the uh, green from the thermostat and the green from the HVAC unit were already tied together so all I had to do is run a jumper wire from the IAQ to the other wire nutted green wires and I can show you that over here so if we look at the IAQ there is a G I happen to use a white wire for this run it goes up, it goes over, it follows the path, and it ties into all the green wires. And if you take a look here, that's the wire nut right there. So there's a couple green wires and there is a white wire coming from the IAQ. Um, so let's zoom out here and let's take a look. This is how you cover this IAQ up and this is what it looks like in your house if you look on the bit this thing just snaps together once you have it wired up so it's gonna basically fit in here there's the top there's the bottom and once you hook it up you can see you get all your numbers on there and you can easily adjust the humidity by moving it up or down it lights up tells you what you have you hit done when you're done um, so you can see we have the uh, indoor temperature of 85 and uh, a humidity of 19 and uh, the outdoor temperature is 31 on there. It's a little bit hard to see and it's uh, a humidity of 66 outside and it also has the time. It's 303. Um, so it uses that outdoor sensor to figure out the outside temperatures. If we look up top where my outlet is and the power comes into this thing, I have set up this outlet actually on a switch. That switch will allow me to turn off the humidifier in the summer because if the fan would kick on um, for my air conditioning, I don't need the humidifier running in the summer. So by just clicking that switch off, that would turn off the power to my humidifier. And that's really about all I have to do to shut this thing down at the end of the season. Um, you should also change the filter inside the unit. Um, I'm not sure how often but it, I imagine it's probably once uh, every year you should get a new waffle filter in there to keep it clean and efficient. So that's basically how I have mine wired up. Um, some people wire up their units directly to the HVAC uh, but I have an Armstrong unit and it didn't have a 24 volt transformer inside that I could use so that's why I had to set up an alternative power source that transformer comes with the kit so does the big plastic Honeywell thing this flap up here it says right now it's set on winter so it's open but you can turn this dial up to summer and that'll shut that flap as well to turn it off in the summer along with the power button. Um, the hoses that you need to buy, um, they don't come with the kit so you need to buy them on your own. Um, so that's a quarter inch ice maker kit hose and also a, a half inch plastic down hose that you use for um, drainage. Okay, so uh, hopefully that makes it a little bit easier for some of you guys out there thinking about installing this thing yourself. Um.